So for this problem, I'm given a vector, f of x, y, and I'm asked to calculate the work done by f along c. Well, in a previous problem, link here, um, I was given this vector field and I was asked to find if it was conservative or not. And if it was, I was asked to find the potential function. Well, it was conservative and I did find a potential function and it is this. So we're gonna use that to help us on this problem. So let's take a look at what our curve C is. So C consists of the top half of a circle of radius one centered at the origin, oriented clockwise. So I'm going from negative one zero around to one zero. Okay, followed by the line segment from one zero to one one. Followed by this line segment from one one to negative one zero. So the start and the end point on this curve are actually the same and they're negative one zero. And let's recall, using the fundamental theorem of line integrals, that if my vector field is conservative, I'm just going to have the potential function value at the end point minus the potential function's value at the start point to find that line integral. So I have that this line integral is going to equal the function value at negative one zero, the end point, minus the function value at negative one zero, which is also the start point. And you can plug these in, but they're just going to be the same. So I'm gonna get zero. And let's assume that f of x, y is a force field given in Newtons and x and y are both measured in meters. So this is actually gonna be zero joules meaning that there's actually no work done by F along this curve C.